Hi friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own cactus and succulent mix instead of buying it at the store. I'm also going to be showing you how to plant a rooted aloe vera plant. So let's get started. You can buy it pre-mixed at the store, like the most common one is miracle Grow, uh, but it's like $5 for a bag about this big. And if you're like me and have a lot of succulents that you need to repot, that can add up really quickly. Uh, so I've learned how to make my own. Um, it ends up being more like upfront, but it's more cost effective in the long run. Uh, also, I've noticed that the Miracle Grow cactus mix, it just doesn't drain as well as I would like. So my uh, recipe is really simple. Uh, it's only three ingredients and it's uh, three parts potting soil and um, I can get, I've got miracle Grow, I've got Walmart brand, um, either will do. The majority of what's in potting soil is peat moss and there is a little bit of perlite which is that styrofoam looking stuff. It's not styrofoam though. Um, the peat moss mainly is the ingredient as well as some most likely some compost, um, some organic matter in there. The second ingredient, which will be two parts, coarse sand. Um, this sand is actually paver sand and I got it at Lowe's. And uh, you can use like play sand, but I find that it, it, it's not coarse enough uh, up to my liking. This paver sand has really good chunks in it, but it's, it's still very coarse but not huge pebbles, so I like that. And then the third ingredient, which will be one part perlite, which is actually not styrofoam as it kind of looks like, it's actually heated up volcanic rock. I'm just gonna be using this little guy to measure with. Um, I bought just regular uh, miracle Grow potting mix, and it does already have fertilizer in it, so I'm not gonna be worrying about fertilizing this aloe vera for a little while. I think it's six months. So um, it's probably not the exact fertilizer that it needs, that a cactus needs, but this is simple and I'm more going about this because I need a more budget friendly mix. Um, you can get really fancy with um, organic potting mixes and instead of using uh, a peat based mix, you can get a cocoa bark, uh, which I've heard good things about. All right, so I'm gonna be doing three parts potting mix. I do like getting my hands in here. Um, of course, you can use a tool or gloves. I do both. Just want to make sure it's evenly distributed, and we're going for a nice gritty mixture. So the mixture you want to go for is whenever it's moist um, and you clump a ball in your hands and you open it up, if it falls apart or it comes apart easily, it's doing good. If it holds its shape a lot when you clench it in your hands, then that means you've got um, not enough um, either perlite or sand. You can kind of play with it. Um, but yeah, you want to keep it nice and crumbly because succulents need a fast draining soil. They hold their water. They do not like having really wet roots. They hold their water in the plant, the green plant part itself, in the leaves. Um, the main culprit for uh, succulents and cactus dying is root rot. And so to avoid that, one of the big things is have the correct soil. Because if you were just to use this uh, potting mix with it mainly being peat, it holds on to that moisture really well, and so it, it does not dry out as well as these guys like. To pot up this aloe vera, I start putting a piece of a coffee filter over the hole 
because with this being a gritty mixture that crumbles and easily, it'll fall out the bottom hole fairly easily. So just put a little coffee filter in the bottom of that will help any soil loss out of the bottom. I always recommend having a uh, pot with a drain hole in it to avoid root rot. So we're gonna start, just put a base layer of soil in the bottom of there. We're gonna, I just kinda hold it in place here and fill in around it. And you're gonna pack it in around it. Now, I do not recommend watering this right off the bat. This is, when you repot a plant, it goes through a shock and most plants you want to water it uh, right after you repot it, but in cases of succulents and cactus, you actually don't because that will actually stress them out more. So I'm going to wait uh, a few days, uh, a few days to a week to water this particular one. Um, just to make sure I'm not putting any more stress on it than it has to go through. So here we go, we've got our new aloe vera plant planted. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.